Hey yo, hey yo, it's Vano. We're just talking about the biggest gaming bombshell of the year, one of the biggest leaks in gaming history. Of course, Grand Theft Auto 6, or the next Grand Theft Auto project, it is being worked on, and of course, it was leaked last Friday. Now, the funniest thing about this whole situation, this is already wrapped up. Rockstar has made their own PR statement. The hacker has been arrested. Apparently, it's a 17-year-old in the UK, and I can read off their statement from Rockstar Games right now. A message from Rockstar Games. We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage from the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term effect on development on our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned, and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players that truly exceed your expectations. We will update everyone again soon, and of course, we will properly introduce you to this next game when it's ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support for this situation, the Rockstar Games team. Now, the important thing to note from this PR statement from Rockstar Games is that the live service games won't be disrupted. No, Assassin's Creed Theft Auto 5, Radio Redemption 2, and of course, their ongoing projects won't be disrupted either. Because when this when leak was reported, there were some reports about the source code being compromised, and why that is a big deal, and I mean a big deal when it comes to gaming potentially delayed a couple of years because the source code is compromised hackers would have free range of the game and this what the main thing is when it comes to you no know, hackers having free range of the game is they can you know affect the monetization system which means free shark cards so the game uh the game source code not being you no know, completely compromised or not disrupting any development is good news because if that wasn't the case this game would get delayed you know an extra year maybe two because i anticipate the game being delayed a year I mean, the initial Bloomberg reports that this game's gonna come out in 2025. I don't believe that. I think they'll double date the console generation 2026. And that's my ongoing theory. But if the game was to get delayed next year, that would push that timeline out to 2027, maybe 2028. So I'm glad that is not the case. I'm glad I don't have to worry about hackers, you know, ruining the integrity of the game. Because while that is one concern when it came to source code being, you know, potentially compromised with being in the hands of hackers, the main thing when it comes to Rockstar would be it disrupting the monetization system. So being that it isn't doing that, they can continue working the game as originally planned, and anything should be all fine and dandy, and this will blow over within, you know, the next oncoming weeks. And of course, I saw the leaked footage. It looked pretty good. Unfortunately, uh, some of y'all don't know what the hell you're talking about when it comes to uh, game development. I'm not saying you have to be a game dev to understand that. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm seeing, uh, you know, people that allegedly play games saying the game looks unfinished. Of course it does. It's still in development. <laughs> like, I, I don't know where that was coming from. I know I saw some jokes about people, you know, actually playing. It's like, hey, it looks like a Ubisoft game. You know, because the game was leaked. How, you know, it looked unfinished. But I saw some folks saying, oh, the game looks ass. The game looks unfinished. So I am... I mean, I'm not surprised that some of y'all don't know the hell you're talking about, even though y'all allegedly play games, but this is the reason why developers, you know, they take uh, fan feedback or fan input with a grain of salt. Honestly, some of y'all don't know the hell you're talking about at all. And when it comes to the hacker, I mean, I hope it was worth their freedom. I mean, this is a big leak, and it was leg legitimate leak because Rockstar confirmed it, and of course, you know, the footage that was on Twitter, it has been removed via copyright request. So, I mean, I hope it was worth their freedom, but all I know is that whoever hacked this, and it's allegedly you know, 17 old team in the United Kingdom, all I know is that Rockstar, they sent the black SUVs, they got somebody and their computers out of there, and yeah, I hope it was worth their freedom. I don't think so. I mean, this is a, a big league, one of the biggest leagues in game history, but yeah, I mean, there goes their freedom. Rockstar pulled up to somebody's location with the black SUVs, and they got somebody and their hardware out of there. That's all I'm gonna say. I hope it was worth it, but the game looked good. I remember the last UGA video I made was about uh, people complaining about it being a female protagonist, and now look at it. No one's caring about that anymore because everyone's looking again like, oh wow, GTA is actually being worked on. Whoop -de -whoop -whoop. But I'm not surprised. That's just how it is. But this situation all been wrapped up within a week. So whenever Rockstar makes any other official announcements about Grand Theft Auto 6 and you know, the revolving around this, I'll make a video about it. But honestly, I don't see that, you know, from another year, uh, not even another year, another year and a half, the two years from now when it comes to an actual teaser trailer, it's an actual gameplay, but until then, we'll talk about it without the way, ladies and gentlemen, y'all stay safe, I'm out.